Hi, my name's Ramo. Uh, it's my first uh, YouTube uh, video, so I'm kind of nervous. I was on uh, YouTube about two months ago, and uh, I was looking at a, uh, a site created by uh, Chris B257. It was called a TIG Steady Rest, and uh, basically this is it. I made it, and uh, I don't know. I found it kind of hard to make. Uh, maybe I was in too much of a hurry or something, but I started looking at it and I thought of all the modifications I could do to it to, uh, you know, make it better. And uh, basically what he had is a flat plate with a little collar on here and then he had a piece of metal uh, thumb screwed or something in there. And then he made this apparatus right here that adjusted the height and then he had another bar that stuck in here and then you tighten these up. Well, it just looked, you know, too complicated. Anyway, after going through about four or five different modifications, I came up with something basically the same. I'm going to give him a lot of credit for this. I think it's a real good design. I contacted him on the uh, on the internet and asked him if he would mind if I made some modifications. He says, hey, go for it. Anything to uh, improve the, the product is fine with me. So basically, I'm going for it, and this is what I got. So I'm going to stick this aside. Anyway, this is what I came up with. And uh, this... This here is a plate, uh, probably uh, 10, 11 inches, you could be 12 inches uh, long, probably 4 inches wide, quarter inch thick, and I got a uh, half inch pipe flange uh, spot welded to this, and then this pipe here just screws in, so you can make it any height, any whatever you want, uh, and then it hooks up just like this, and the heart of this is this uh, little clamp here, they call it a beam beam hanger clamp. They use this in most of your uh, warehouses, uh, factories, and what this does, it clamps to the the bottom of an I-beam, and then through this you can hook some uh, threaded rod uh, 3 inches, 3 feet, 30 feet below, and hang pipe, air conditioning, uh, uh, tubing, water, uh, fire, uh, fire equipment, whatever you want. And uh, so basically what I did is I went to the store and found a piece of pipe that would fit this. This is the second from the largest size and a half inch felt, uh, fit it real good. You can see here it takes about a turn and a half, two turns to tighten it right there. And it'll go to any height you want. Now Chris's, he made a couple of modifications because his unit would not go all the way down to the table. He made a little S thing and that was all right and I looked at it and I said I think I can make something a little bit easier to manufacture than that so I made this here and this here goes all the way down matter of fact if you wanted a real nice smooth surface and this and that you could probably weld a piece of metal like this right on the top and paint it up and uh, it'd be nice and nice and smooth but this unit here is uh, you can see the way it's it's welded up uh, there's a plate on the back here probably about two by three inches a little piece of keyway because this uh, thing here is made sort of like a little bit of a taper so in, to keep this thing from moving around I put a piece of uh, uh, three-eighths uh, key stock in here you can use any size you want this tubing here can be cut longer shorter whatever you want to meet your purposes but before you go ahead and make this I'd uh, I'd get on uh, Chris B257's website, see his TIG Steady Rest, and then compare it to, to the video I'm making over here, and maybe in between the two, you can come up with some compromise, uh, you know, to meet your needs. I just looked at it, and uh, I thought maybe I could uh, make some improvements to it. I, I hope he sees the video and gives me a thumbs up on the comment here. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. I, I, I just, uh, you know, when I see something, and uh, I can think I can make a better modification so I'm going to do it and uh, instead of uh, tightening it up like you would see right here with a wrench I uh, just got a piece of 3 sixteenths 3 sixteenths inch uh, flat stock or uh, round stock here and then welded it to the very end of the nut so it's it's don't take anything to make it hard to, to tighten it's you can clamp this uh, onto a table put some holes bolt it not even put the plate, put the screw here right into a wooden table if you're using a wooden table for doing some of your fabricating. But uh, I don't know, I, I kind of like this, uh, this setup over here. Uh, 
I've used his original. It worked fine. I haven't had a chance to use this one yet, but uh, I don't see where there'd be any, uh, any problems. Anyway, uh, like I said, this is my first video. Uh, got a lot to learn. Uh, please leave a comment, good or bad. Uh, if it's bad, I'll try to make some improvements to make the next few uh, even better. I got quite a few uh, lined up to do. Maybe every couple of weeks I'll put something on. And, uh, and if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, do that. I have a lot of uh, uh, pipe uh, welding jigs, uh, stuff for auto body repair, uh, fabricating, uh, photography gadgets that I made. So I'm going to list them uh, as I see fit, and uh, I hope you like it. Anyway, see you next time. If any of these ideas would serve uh, some of your friends that either do some work out of their garage or have a fabricating shop or this and that, or would have some use for it, uh, spread the word. Uh, I'd like to uh, spread the idea around and uh, thank Chris. He's the one that originally came up with this. So thank you, and uh, we'll see you again. Bye.